A proudly South African story indeed. Only two South Africans have received the Knight of the French National Order of Merit. I'm not going to try now and give you the French name, but she will do so shortly. The first was our former public protector, Tuli Madonsela. And the second is Caroline Stein, who is a philanthropist, founder of 67 Blankets for National Mandela Day. But it's for her contribution to the deepening of cultural ties between South Africa and France that she was honored. Just yesterday, she received that knighthood from the French ambassador to South Africa, Aurélien Le Chavier, at the French embassy. She joins us now in the studio to talk about this award. Congratulations, ma'am. Merci beaucoup, Dan. <laughs> I, 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 I can't speak uh, the, the language, but a little bit uh, of it. But, well done, and I'm sure it's a proud moment for you as well. It, it, I must tell you, it is very, very, it's overwhelming. To say that I'm proud is an understatement. It was a very emotional day for me yesterday. You know, I had to give a speech, which I gave in French. Okay. <laughs> and, you know, I practiced for quite some time. And um, I stood up there after the ambassador, uh, Monsieur Aurélien Le Chevalier, bestowed upon me this medal and what, what is that order called in, in it's French? called the chevalier national uh, l'ordre du mérite okay. i've got it all wrong i know i have okay. the chevalier de l'ordre national du mérite, du mérite. Okay. yes yeah. so i started speaking and i saw all my friends there in the in the garden at the french residence and it just suddenly dawned on me the the enormity of this incredible award I started crying. <laughs> no, no, it, it must be emotional. But just tell me about this, this, this for you, I mean, as a South African and, and France, where does it begin? Why this interest? Why have you been participating in this deepening of cultural ties between the two, two peoples, the two countries? I've always loved the sound of the French language. I'm sure you'll agree it's one of the most romantic sounds in the world. And for years and years, um, in my diary, I used to write my New Year's resolutions, and one was to, f to find more work as an actress, you know, buy a new car that works, find a boyfriend, find an apartment, find a husband, learn French at the Alliance Francaise. Mm -hmm. So after 10 years, I thought, no, I have to do this, otherwise I'm going to stop writing this thing in my diary. So I called the Alliance Francaise, that was 10 years ago, so I started then. So I think, you know, the culture, I love the elegance of, of the French, I love, I love the, 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 the music. You know, I play a lot of French music on my radio show every night. And um, the food, except for fro frog's legs, <laughs> that I don't think I can do. <laughs> but I believe they're delicious. You, you are, you are on, uh, on Hot FM, a local Johannesburg-based yes, radio hot, station. Hot 1027. And you play French music, you say? Well, I play South African music. I play French music, Italian, you know, um, gentle, beautiful sounds, classical music, light classics, film scores, Broadway show tunes. So, yeah, how, how would you say how good is your French today? How good is your French? Um, well, I've done quite well in my exams at the Alliance Francaise. Um, the ambassador was particularly impressed with me yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say that I can hold myself in a conversation, but if I have to talk politics, I'm not going to be able to do that in French. I can't do that in English either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, many of us will battle politics in, in any language. Uh, uh, currently, you are described as a philanthropist uh, and art music uh, in media in South Africa. You've got a radio, got a radio program. You, you do a lot for the community as well. And I just want to bring in, because it's mentioned in the press release about this award that you got from the, from the French government, the French National Order of Merit, uh, the 67 blankets. You yes, founded that I did. in terms of the, uh, helping people to raise uh, uh, funding and, and, and actually you needed these blankets. I think it was it Zelda Lichansi who challenged you to do so. Yes. What a wonderful soul Zelda is. Yes. And, and you were able to do so for the 67 minutes campaign uh, in honor of Madiba. Yes. So, so tell us about that. How is that going and how does this fit in with this picture of your life today? Okay, well I have to tell you 67 blankets for Nelson Mandela Day has been the biggest gift ever given to me apart from this um, so Zelda was at the lunch table it was my husband's birthday shortly after the passing of our beloved Madiba 
and I was boasting about my domestic abilities, of which I have none. Zelda said, make 67 blankets for Mandela Day. I said, sure, no problem. So I started crocheting, and I realized I can't make 67 blankets. Then the last time I'd crocheted was when I was at JP High School for Girls, my school. And um, my friends all said, I don't cook, I don't knit, I'm too busy. So I put it on Facebook. And the next day, 3 o'clock in the morning, I, I pledged to make 67 blankets. I need help. It's amazing, the response, how a simple idea, a ball of wool, a crochet hook can snowball into what many people are calling a movement. Because thousands of people in South Africa and around the world are stitch by stitch making blankets for those in need. So this year we're doing something so exciting, I have to tell you about it. Yes, please. Do May, so. May 11th at Stain City School, we're going to lay out thousands of beautiful handmade blankets made with love. Um, on the grounds, we are partnering with Gift of the Givers, and those thousands of blankets are being called our Rainbow Nation Blanket of Hope. They'll be distributed with Gift of the Givers throughout the country to communities and vulnerable people in need. Yeah. So it, we've been doing this for eight years. We're eight years old. You started with 67 blankets, and now you're sitting with thousands of blankets. And we know how a blanket can bring warmth to any human being anywhere in the world. And I think the difference between a bought blanket, and that's fa fabulous, but, you know, the person, the recipient of our blankets know that someone spent time and a lot of effort and energy and love in the creation of this blanket. So when is this year's campaign beginning with the gift so, of the givers? So we're busy now around the country. People are crocheting furiously away to make blankets um, to be delivered to Stain City in time for our big display at Stain City School on the 11th of May. So that will be from early in the morning, 8 o'clock will be registration, 9 o'clock official proceedings. We've got the Mzanzi Youth Choir performing, PJ Powers, Timothy Malloy. Mm -hmm. um, so it's going to be a very, very, very mm -hmm. gift of the givers and doctors without borders. I forgot about that. Yeah. Médecins sans frontières. Médecins sans frontières. Very <laughs> That's good, Dan. Name, very, eh? very good. MSF. I know nowadays <laughs> we've anglicized them to doctors without borders. Yes. Uh, 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 you know, let's just go back to this, to this award. I, 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 this award uh, was given to you yesterday on behalf of President Emmanuel Macron. And, and you've expressed how you feel about it. Does it mean there's something more that is expected of you now or you think you need to do in the deepening of these ties mm. between the South African people and the French people? I feel that um, I, I have to give more because of this. Um, it's a huge honor. Um, I mean, I'm very, very busy with my philanthropic work, especially with 67 Blankets. I'm also on the board of LIFA, IFAS, the French Institute, um, where we work on uh, fostering cultural ties between France and South Africa. So um, I think it's a responsibility, and I need to wake up with a purpose every day, which is what I do and will continue to do um, with pride. So this will drive you, or is, it will en has energized it you in has. a way? It has. It has energized me. It's given me a kind of new, renewed energy to, to go forth and conquer. Yeah. We are in a pandemic world today. The world is in a different place. Mm. I mean, uh, uh, even travel is beginning to be better now. We no more have red... Uh, red zones and all those kind of, of classifications of countries. People are beginning to travel a little bit more now. Uh, what aspects of the relationship between South Africa and France do you think need to be focused on? I'm asking this against the backdrop, for example, if you don't mind me mm. uh, asking. We just had the unemployment figures yesterday. Mm. I mean, they're horrific. Mm. I mean, if you look at the numbers, and the young people in particular. But we have so many creative people. We have cultural activities. And South Africa is rich with, mm. with that heritage, mm. just like France. Mm. Would you think it's something that uh, we need to promote more and more of between the two countries, sharing more in terms of cultural arts and stuff, so we are able as well to create opportunities for, for especially young South Africans. Absolutely. Our artists, our singers, our dancers, our po poets, our writers have been really, really hard hit, as you know. I mean, theatres have been shut for the most part of two years. So I think that the more we can encourage our young talent to, to you know, hone their craft and with the encouragement of the French to to show their skills internationally I think it's a wonderful wonderful thing and um, 
Yeah, so that's my focus on culture, arts and culture. In terms of unemployment, my gosh, that's, that is something... Mm. But I mean, arts and culture can be used as well as a vehicle to attract tourism. You know, people can it, come and watch and perform. Exactly. And tourism is a low-hanging fruit, especially for the low-skill type of, uh, of, 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 of vocations. The hospitality industry, as you know, has been really, really hard hit. So I think the more we can encourage travel, uh, people coming into our country, people going, the exchange of culture, um, the, the better for us and the better for the rest of the world. Yeah, now, Carolyn, uh, 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 before you go, do we have to address you differently now? You've got, <laughs> you've got that beautiful... Let's see how you curtsy. <laughs> how I curtsy. Or do we just have to no, no, keep no. on doing... No, it's a joke. No, no, yeah, it's no. just... Um, so <laughs> yeah. I believe it's Madame... Uh, oh, dame, okay. dumb, it's dumb. It's yeah. dumb. Yeah. So yeah. a translation, no. when, I guess, would yeah. be dame. Yeah. When I meet French people, I always tell them, uh, uh, because I don't speak French very well, I tell them, je ne parle pas français, mais je parle beaucoup de portugais et anglais et shangan. <laughs> Those are my languages that I speak. And then to try and open the door, because I don't speak uh, very well. But you are really making us proud. You're setting that standard. Keep on doing the brilliant work, the awesome work. The work that gives you, as you said earlier, purpose every day and, and meaning. I guess even the pandemic has made all of us stand up and think, uh, I should do something with meaning every day if mm. I can, because mm. times are tough. Mm. You see, we talk about the fact that we're knitting lives together during this pandemic while we are apart. You know, thank goodness for technology. Thank goodness for Zoom and Skype and FaceTime, etc. So people were meeting on Zoom, crocheting, you know, um, still um, liaising with each other, uh, building a family, knitting lives together, knitting our nation together, knitting nations together. I mean, can you imagine had this happened you know, 15 years ago when technology wasn't what it is today? So we've been very, very busy during this time of COVID. And getting connections going. Thank you very much, Caroline Stein. She has just received yesterday the National Order of Merit uh, uh, from France on behalf of President Emmanuel Macron. It was uh, given to her by the ambassador to South Africa from France, Aurélien Le Chevalier. Thank you very much uh, for your time.